I'm up at Colic Lakes again just to see what's here and while I'm here first of all I wanted to show you in some detail this plant gypsy wort <clears throat> Lycopus europaeus and I'm always going on about as a treatment for thyroid disorders notably hyperthyroidism or Graves disease and this is what the condition that I had uh, about five or six years ago and at that time I was recommended treatment that would involve radioisotopes or an operation to have part of my thyroid removed um, because of the problem that I was having with my thyroid and I said to my doctor at that time please can you give me a chance to find an alternative and the inter alternative involved taking lycopus herbs as it was it was lycopus virginicus um, which I bought from somewhere I think it's called Woodlands up in Glasgow Woodlands herbs anyway I took the tea for a month and I went back to the doctors and they did a blood test on my thyroid and my thyroid condition was normal so taking a lycopus herb like this had the beneficial effect of saving me my thyroid or a large dose of radiation in a radioisotope having the radioisotope would mean that I'll be peeing it out it would be radioiodine for weeks and it would mean I have to take weeks off work I wouldn't be able to go into work because of contaminating toilets and things like that so this herb lycopus saved me all that so you can see and this is really what got me interested in herbs in the first place the very fact that this herb was so effective within a month to helping me get over this thyroid disorder so here it is, the ultimate video on lycopus, uh, a treatment for Graves' disease. If you have other thyroid disorders, other herbs are useful as well. Ashwagandha, which I've already done a video on, is useful for hypothyroid disease. But you do have a choice of herbs that you can use in these situations. It's a great herb. It smells of it attracts the flies. I think this plant is pollinated by flies. The flowers are very small, but if you look at them closely, they're quite attractive with pink spots inside. Anyway, less of that, and if there's anything more going around here, I'll film it. Okay.